हेलो यर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू एवरीबडी होप यू आर ऑल ऑयल बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ ऑल माइटी अल्लाह वेलकम टू इंग्लिश क्लास इन फेरदोस अली खान मॉडल स्कूल एंड कॉलेज माई सेल्फ हसलाइन मोहम्मद इम्तियाज सीनियर टीचर फेरदोस अली खान मॉडल स्कूल एंड कॉलेज टूडे we are going to discuss about article okay students to our today's lesson will be conducted over article and this is the number 2 class second class of article so students our learning outcomes is after this class students that means you will be able to know what is article and you will be able to put correct article before different nouns okay so students as you know earlier that is articles are of two kinds that is indefinite article and definite article okay indefinite articles are a and an and definite article the only one that is b okay you know it very well we just review this one students definite article d let's have a look on some information about definite article d here in the dialog box you see that the definite article d is used to speak about a noun that is already known heard or identified okay so a definite article sits before those nouns which are known earlier or which are heard earlier or identified okay here is some example for you you see a sentence that is the ball is on the grass here you see the word ball and the word grass takes article d okay that means the ball is specified that is which ball we know okay and the place is also particular okay predefined place that is grass for this reason d is used before ball and grass okay in this picture you see a ball okay <clears throat> you see a ball and uh, the place that is grass a ball is on the grass okay students so remember that if the name of anything or anything is specified or identified okay then d should be used before the name of that things or person here in another slide you see that indefinite article a <coughs> indefinite article a is used before all words starting with consonant okay students the words that bears or that starts with a consonant letter a is used before that word and by the uh, by this information at the same time you have to remember that a is indefinite article okay it uh, uh, it does not identify or it does not particularize any thing or any person okay for example here you can see, you can see a sentence that is she eats a loaf of bread okay so here the word loaf starts with consonant letter l and for this reason indefinite article a is used here and the loaf of bread is also not identified or Uh, is not known which loaf is being eaten here you see a girl is 
eating a loaf of bread, but the bread is not specified because we don't know the bread is sweet or the bread is not sweetened uh, or the bread is spicy. Uh, we, we don't know any specific information about the bread. The bread may be of any kind. Okay, so for this reason, uh, here, consonant, uh, sorry, here, the indefinite article A is used. Okay, let's go to the next one. Here you can see the students' indefinite article A. So, indefinite article A and N both are indefinite and they do not uh, uh, specify any particular thing okay but there is a difference between a and n a is used before a consonant letter but indefinite article n is used before all words starting with vowel okay students so whenever you find any word that starts with a vowel letter or vowel sound remember this students that is vowel sound is also uh, is also sh uh, it should be con should be taken into consideration okay not only vowel letter but also vowel sound okay remember so here is an example for you you see i want to see an elephant in this sentence you can see i want to see an elephant students in this sentence indefinite article and is used before the word elephant okay here elephant starts with a vowel letter that is e so and is used before elephant here in this picture students the concert is over before an hour the concert is before over before an hour you see here um, an is used before hour the word hour but the word starts with a consonant letter but uh, we know as we know that consonant letter takes a but we have we uh, put an here why? The answer is here the sound, vowel sound is the main consideration. Okay. Whenever we use H O U R, it pronunci the pronunciation of it stands as our. Our. So here we use an. Okay, students, that's the primary discussion about article. Okay. We have also discussed in this primary informations in our previous classes. We just review this information today. And now the main thing that is the rules of using correct articles before correct nouns. Okay. In our previous class, we have discussed about three rules regarding when, when to use the definite article. Okay, today we will learn some more rules about this matter. So, rule four, or in our class today's class, the first rule is B is used before the name of objects that are only one in this universe. You know, some objects in this world are only one and they cannot be created or uh, any uh, other version cannot be created okay any alternative cannot be uh, created ever so these are only one in this world for this reason we have to put the before the name of these things okay here is some example for you that is the seekers are guided by the pole star students you know pole star and uh, <coughs> pole star is only one in this universe. For this reason, B is used here. In second example, once it was thought that the earth was flat. 
Here also art is only one in this universe. There is no second art. For this reason, D is used here. In third example, the name of the biggest planet on the earth is the Jupiter. Here also Jupiter is a unique planet. For this reason, D is also used here. Okay, students. So you know the today's first rule that is if you find any unique object that is only one in this universe, there is no alternative or there is no copy, then you have to put D before the name of these things that things okay let's go to the next rule rule number five before the name of any scripture magazine or journal article d is used students you know what is a scripture magazine or journal if you find any name of these things then you should put d before the name or before that name Okay, here is some example that is the first one is the Holy Quran is called the complete code of life. Okay, here Quran is a religious scripture followed by Muslim Ummah, and that is why Quran is uh, the is used before Quran. Okay, in second example, the Daily Star publishes authentic news. Here, Daily Star is the name of a journal, and that is why D is used before the name Daily Star. Okay, in the last example, it also follows uh, uh, example number one. That is, this is also a religious scripture Bible, and for this reason, D is used before Bible. So the sentence stands is the Bible is a religious scripture that is followed by the Christian. Let's go to the next rule. Rule number six, before the name of any caste or community, article D is used. Okay, look at some examples. The English are known as the industrious nation. Here, English is used as a nation. Okay, as we know, we have to use D before any caste, before the name of any caste or community. So English is a nation, they are first. So we, uh, we, we have to use D before English, okay? In second example, the rich are not always happy. Here the word rich also stands for a particular community, okay? Uh, those who have wealth with them uh, are called rich. So this is a community a particular community for this reason d is used here in third example the pious are always respected in bangladesh here pious is also a particular community a group of people who follow the religious scripture religious rules and regulations are called pious so they are also forms a particular community for this reason d is used before pious okay I think you understand. Students, uh, the next rule that shows is uh, superlative degree of adjective takes definite article D before it. Students, um, superlative degree of adjective. You know what is adjective very well. Uh, for your understanding, I once again mention here that is uh, adjective is a part of the speech that modifies a noun or a pronoun. Okay, so this word adjective uh, has three form. Okay, that is uh, <coughs> positive degree, comparative degree, and superlative degree. If you find any superlative degree of adjective, then you can use or you should use P before this or that superlative degree okay let's have a look on some example here is an example for you okay the first example that refers is <coughs> this is the most interesting book i have ever read okay students here most is a superlative degree okay so d is used before most 
in second example jerry is the least worried about the gay okay here list is also superlatively and for this reason b is used here in third example the same uh, rules should be applied that is most is also a uh, superlative degree and for this reason b is used before most so the st sentence stance is sam is the most handsome boy in the whole school okay students uh, so we under we we have learned uh, four examples as far as four examples sorry four rules today uh, about when to use b uh, and these rules should, uh, are very particular you have to follow the rules whenever you will write answers in your answer script okay students let's uh, do some evaluation test okay uh, whether we understand the rules or not for this reason we have to uh, discuss those rules once again uh, in evaluation test the number one sentence is the smallest planet of solar system is gap there is a gap uh, and after that there is the word mercury so the smallest planet of solar system is gap mercury students we know mercury is a planet in the solar system and there is only one uh, mercury in the world in in the universe and for this reason we have to put the here okay so the smallest planet of solar system is the mercury okay <clears throat> in second example the seekers are guided by cat pole star students here is another unique uh, thing or uh, th that is in the universe that is pole star okay so uh, we also should put b as an article before pole star okay in third example third test uh, the sentence is Mount Everest is the gap highest mountain in the world. Students, here highest is a superlative degree of high. This is an adjective, and the superlative form of this adjective is highest. As we know, the rule is uh, we have to put the before superlative degree of adjective, so we have to put here. B. okay so this sentence stands for mount everest is the highest mountain in the world in number four test students you see most of the electronics products are invented by cap chinese here chinese is a nation uh, or caste community the name of a caste so we have to use before Chinese okay according to our rule in the last test number five what is said here is that this is gap most interesting book I have ever read this is also an example of superlative degree okay most is a superlative degree so we have to put here B yes students the answer is B so we have discussed today the uh, article how going to use article some uh, for for uh, exam uh, for rules we have discussed today okay so students you have to you you have to uh, <coughs> practice these rules that we are uh, learning uh, in your home okay we you have to practice this at your home uh, regular practice makes a man perfect okay, okay. so uh, your today's class ends here uh, wishing you your uh, healthy and happy life thank you very much thank you everybody
that's all thank you